Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Early morning here. We're doing something really cool today. We just went and got some breakfast kolaches. The town I live in is famous for kolaches. If you don't know what it is, look it up. But we are doing something cool today. My buddy Hayden's dad, friend, Emmanuel, they work at the fire station together. He runs rabbit dogs. I think they're beagles. And they're in the back of his truck. We're following him right now. Foggy morning. This is exactly the kind of morning I would pick to go rabbit hunting with dogs. I don't know how this works or anything like that. I hope it is awesome, but at the same time, I'm scared because I do stuff like this. I'll end up with three or four beagles and I'll be out there rabbit hunting by myself. So following Emmanuel out here and we are hunting public land here in Texas. I gotta wear orange. This is the first time I've ever had to wear orange in Texas, other than maybe like bird hunting or we were in a field with a bunch of people or something. Super excited to see how this works out and I'm sure he's got some good rabbit recipes. So I'm excited to hear those, bring something new to you guys. So stay tuned, see you when we get there. Hopefully we find some rabbits. All right guys, we just literally just let the dogs out. They already got one running. So let's see how this goes down. A little 410 pump. And, uh, we just have to do it. So we didn't really do an introduction, but this is Emmanuel. How long have you been doing this? All my life. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So he said we'll run them in a circle, push the rabbit straight to it, and that's when we shoot. Following him. Y'all better come on. Are these dogs run squirrels too? No. They won't run deer, hog, they won't run nothing like that. They better not. How do you get them to run squirrels over rabbits? Train, you train them different? Them. You have to train them. Get on in here. Hey, hey, hey. Happen to me every time I run dogs with anything. It started raining and the dogs can't pick up the scent, so basically, the moisture of the rain makes the scent of the rabbits go away. They'd get on a trail real quick and then they would lose the trail because the water makes the scent go away. We saw one rabbit, I didn't see, he saw it, but we never had a shot, never saw any to shoot. We're going to a private piece of property now, I'm gonna go give a shot over there. And he said there may be swamp rabbits there. I've never even heard of swamp rabbits being in Texas. He said they're about two or three times bigger than a cottontail, which is what I thought we were hunting. It'd be awesome to, to shoot a swamp rabbit. I didn't know we had those in Texas. See you when we get to the new spot. It's supposed to keep raining, so we'll see what happens. It's fun. Either way, I love running behind dogs and watching them work. So see you when we get there. All right, guys, we're at the new spot, and the dogs are barking. Hopefully one runs out in front of us. Who knew it would be so hard to kill a rabbit? <laughs> I don't know if the freeze killed our rabbits or what, but we're going to the next spot, so see you there. There it is, right there. Another rabbit. They run another rabbit. Another one? Yeah. We got rabbit for dinner, boys. I didn't know if it was gonna happen. <laughs> he said it's gonna happen on this one. So he's gonna go ahead and scan it. He said he don't want to carry around this extra weight. What does a rabbit skin weigh? Like less than a pound? I'm gonna gut him and all. <laughs> Y'all watch this and learn. That's how you skin a rabbit right there. That's professional. Got a knife. Okay. 
You didn't think I hit it. Ooh. Is it a male or a female? Rabbit. Rabbit? <laughs> See how you get this thing. You clean them in the field all the time? Mm -hmm. Really? Take the weight off. The weight? Yeah, they compare it to the. Okay. How do you normally carry them out of here? With the bag zip. I carry it. I carry it on. Oh, yeah? Let's go, y'all. Hello? That's the longest ever taken you to kill a rabbit. But man, does it feel good. Little 410 did the trick. Got to pick some BBs out, but. What I'm talking about. It ran into the brush pile. <laughs> he went and got a bobcat. We saw a rabbit run into this brush, so I guess it's gonna try to push the brush up. There are probably like 50 rabbits under there. It's like a den of rabbits. We'll see what happens though, but we got dinner, that's all I care about. We'll see how this goes. Come oh, right here. Number two, the brush pile idea worked. He said there's another one, the dogs are on another one. Um, I'm tired. That was a long day of rabbit hunting. Got two on the ground, we're headed back to the house. I'm gonna fry them up, he said just slow fry them. So I've always, just quartered them and cooked the whole quarters, but he said it'll make it so much more tender if you uh, cut the quarters into pieces as well. So we're gonna go home, slow fry them, and uh, see if that's any better. I've had a lot of rabbits in my life, and I've never done it that way. So see you in the kitchen, and uh, we'll get to cooking. All right, guys, so like he's, we're gonna cut this thing into quarters, so that down the middle. And then we're gonna cut the bat le back legs into two pieces. So, like that. Cut this back strap into a couple pieces. And then these front shoulders will cut off, cut them into two pieces, just like that. So now we got a bunch, everything's cut up into pieces. Now we're gonna season it. So we got some flour and some egg wash mixed with water. Take some Critter Glitter Red. It is on my website if y'all wanna check it out. Just like that. Now we're gonna go from that to the, and he told me about this, I've never done this, egg mixture with water instead of milk. And he said the breading will stick a lot better, so. Do that, and then we'll drop it into the grease, just like that. Keep repeating this process until they're all done, and then we're just going to slow fry them, um, and then turn up the heat to get that brown, nice brown on them, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it.
guys, I'm out here working on the chicken coop. This is gonna be a future video, so I'm not gonna show you a whole lot. You have a white screen in the background from now on, but uh, I have a new cameraman slash editor and uh, he made his first mistake. So y'all drop it in the comments what you think about him, but he's actually a really good dude. He just accidentally uh, pressed slow-mo from what y'all just saw to the end of me trying the rabbit out and uh, the cooking portion of it. So I'm gonna do it right now and just tell you that I rated it at a 7.8. It was delicious uh, and it was better actually cutting it into smaller chunks. I feel like it made the meat um, more tender and break down a lot easier. And we just fried them. Normally I slow cook them in gravy and uh, they were actually super tender just like they were. Um, so just the egg mixture with a little bit of water in the egg um, and then dipped it in flour and uh, just shallow fried it. And it was delicious. So sorry about that, but it's okay. We're working on it. We'll make sure we have it for the next time for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Huge thanks to Emmanuel for taking me out. I had a blast. Leave in the comments if y'all wanna see us do it again. He said there uh, is a spot that he can go just for swamp rabbits. So drop it in the comments if y'all wanna see us go after swamp rabbits. Never seen one in my life. I wanna do it, um, but y'all leave it in the comments if y'all want me to film it. I'm going either way. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they up, huh? Yep, they're coming.